Hey folks, we're back. So, um, yeah, last time you might remember we had done levels here. Um, then, uh, then the footage died. So, like all of it, to my understanding. The audio was complete. The footage was fine. The audio, however, was completely gone. So wait, um, so did we not do any? Do we have to redo this entire world? Yes. Oh, well, to be fair, oh, we were not so very far in this world at all. We had done like two smattering levels somewhere. I need that guy. We had done like one or two worlds. Can't remember. I genuinely can't remember what they were though. So we're just fucking. Element of stick. It's a good element though. Hold on. Powers. All right. Whoopsie. You keep forgetting that we need to make friends. Uh, that's that's subjective. Why do you hate the power of friendship, Cam? I don't know, Jay. It's good power. It's anime power. Anyway. Yeah, if it works for Shonen protagonists, it should work for us. He's, I mean, Kirby's pretty much a Shonen Oh, man. Speaking of which... Oh, 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 yeah, fuck. Speaking of which, like, the fall... Or the spring anime season hey, is, is just about over, and holy fuck was it bad. Yeah, I've heard it has not been a great, uh, great year for anime. Honestly, I can't really think of anything that's come out this year, like, that was, like, an initial release of this year that I really, really loved. There were a few sequels to things that are very beloved, like, um... Fuck, uh, what, what's that new shonen that's taken the world by storm? Uh, can you narrow it down? Ah, uh, the one about the Hero Academy? Oh, My oh, Hero Academy. Yes, thank you. It had two of the three words you needed there. <laughs> Shut up, Jay. I can't think sometimes. Anyway, um... Yeah, well, I mean, like... That yeah. got a sequel in the in the season, and was apparently pretty good. I, I like, uh... Give I me like, powers. Ah. Uh, like what, stick? Uh, Have you not noticed our generic lack of elements here? I don't know, I figured maybe they could give me rope power. What... What exactly is elemental rope? I don't know. Fetish? Fate? I don't know. I mean, you're right, but I don't believe that's what we're looking for. Oh here, man, Alex. speaking of fetish bait. Oh, uh, I don't like where this is headed. So, um, I told Jay this, but uh, as I got to his house, uh, just outside in his neighbor's house was uh, a great big Jeep labeled uh, Boudoir Photography sitting right out front. And just, I think that's great that they don't have any shame about what they're doing. Good for them. I mean, whatever keeps your funny. marriage alive. Hold on, I need that health. Yeah. It's still funny. Yeah. Hold on, get back here. You can't Burn. get... You have to go up and over, I think. Oh, yes, you're right. That's what I've been trying to do, but you guys won't follow me. You're not in charge. It's Kirby's star allies, not kind star allies. How do I drop down? Oh, fuck, I can't, can I? No, you have to go... You have to shoot fire powers up. Do I have up fire? I would assume you have some. Like, I have some. Hold on, wait, I have an idea. I you don't. can give me fire powers. Okay. Here, have some fire. Aha! Burning Stick fire! Sizzle staff. That's fine. I, I can get behind that name. Actually, this is a pretty fun moveset. Yeah! Now yeah, who's big? But yeah, you shouldn't feel any on. shame about your kinks, assuming they don't hurt anyone else. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Keep keep doing that. <laughs> oh shit, am I the only wind guy? Yeah, because you're the bird. Oh yeah. You have wings. Well, can't go that way. <laughs> Come on, Magic Carp, let's go. Aw, oh, I love Magic Carp. He's great. I, I I love the never give up attitude that is implied by the Magic Carp. I think what what I so I like Magic Carp, but I don't like how like Pokemon keeps thinking it needs another Magic Carp. The Magic Carp like magic only works if there's only one pathetic Pokemon. Yeah, like Wimpod now or whatever it is. At least like okay, so Wimpod's a bit different because at least Wimpod can do. Stuff? Wait, aren't there two in the in the new yeah. gen? Yeah. Well, like there's so, there's one that's a fish. And yeah. So turns there's into a there's school of fish later. Wishy washy, which is genuinely shitty, except occasionally it can go into a different form, which is like egg. 
extremely powerful. The butt, as I said, that's occasional. So, it is majority of the time shit, with occasional bouts of being great. Oh, so that, that thing's an alternate form, not an evolution? Yes. Ah, oh, that's... I mean, it le I mean, what would you rather? One, uh, a, a gimmick, or two magic arts? Fair enough. But, I mean, neither of them particularly work great. And then there was, uh, even more directly with, uh... The one that evolves into the, uh, that, what's it called? The beautiful mermaid fish. Oh, there's your- Ah, oh, friendo! Okay, Me. just get the headband. How do I be you? I'm trying to- Okay, wait. There. Yeah! There you go. Yeah, Big Daddy Golden Scarab. Now you get to be friend beetle. Well, I Can you make me- Ah, oh, bomb beetle. Oh, wait, no, never mind. No. Remember, you can't get elements. Yeah, friend throw! You just, you just have violence. I just soup like, yeah! The element of, like, The element huge. of testing your friendship. The element of being huge. <laughs> the element of swole. Yeah, I mean, if that was an element, I'd be a bad guy. What? Some, some, some big, fat, bombastic person. Fat and soul are different things. Not, they're not mutually exclusive. No, sumos are both. Yeah. You can have fat muscle. Hold on, wait, bomb guy, blow these up. Oh, wait, you can throw. Throw me at these blocks. Drop, drop the thing. I don't... Okay. No. Wham! Wait, we actually might need it. Bird? Yeah. Well, if he's here, we probably need him. Uh, let's get rid of Cowboy Rick. Sorry, Rope Guy. Button! It looks like Kirby's just dancing in front of a horrible fire. I love his hat. It's very nice. Yeah, the fucking... The Jamba Cap. And the Jamba Cultist. Boing. I have the key! It's... Yeah. Good door. Yeah, but you keep warping me away from where I need to go. Well, the door was open, wasn't it? Fair enough. Oh boy, this. Oh, it? I think I nailed it. Yeah, I sort of nailed it. So did Close you. Close enough. Good work, Jay. Sort of confidence is like real confidence, right? Our only fan. Uh. It's close enough to real confidence that no one would know if we didn't tell them. By drawing attention to it, I am making <laughs> self-referential comedy, and not addressing how sad we are. And everyone knows that references are real comedy. That's mm. how Duke Nukem Forever got its critical acclaim. I was gonna say, that's how uh, Family Guy consistently stays at the top, am I right? Yep. Oh, uh. Come on, me, we, we know. This is like the fifth one we've opened now. Well, I mean, maybe we need a friendly reminder. Oh, shit, that's the background he was using. Look. What? You remember in, uh, uh Wooly's video? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, it, Jay, you should link to that video. Uh, yes. Um, I recommend not watching that video before you finish this Let's Play yeah, or playing this game. Yeah, watch everything we do. Watch well, not even that. I just mean in general. Like, watch where this game goes first. Then watch that video because it is like spoilers and people care about. It. Okay. Yeah. Good, I suppose. I stopped it. The world yeah. is saved thanks to uh -oh. me, Beetle Guy. Oh, hey, I intercepted that one. It's down here. Oh wait, I think I remember this. But yeah, basically, Wooly did a great big video on uh, how Kirby is in a, is like a terrible, terrible dimension. That uh, where elder gods are real, and uh, you may remember this exact conversation when we played Kirby Crystal Chronicles. Basically, Kirby is super, super dark, and the only reason it's so happy go lucky is because Kirby is too young to realize the implications of what's happening in his world. <laughs> like that, dead. I killed those men. Hey, you could be double beetle. Yeah, make me double beetle. Doesn't work that way. Uh, I'm already going. Look at me, I'm Wooly, I got the dreads. 
You're not green enough. I'm covered in reboot logos. <laughs> I was hoping you were gonna say woolly slime. <laughs> well, I mean, we did just come out of a great big woolly hole. Yeah, we did. It's filled with stuff that defies explanation and also bugs. Also, you Those just killed the guy. Many guys with kicking, with foots and balls, in fact. <laughs> Oh fuck, I love all the lore about Wooly from Two Best Friends. <laughs> that he's a horrible murderer? Yep. I also love that one time that the best friends went to E3 and got everyone to say on camera how Wooly's a piece of shit. <laughs> and he stole that guy's pie? Yeah. Remember, uh, folks at home, don't steal pies like that awful Wooly. Man, I feel like I have a super good elemental advantage against the Wispy Wood in that I am a beetle killing a tree. You'd think so, but I don't actually know which of your attacks can hit him. However, All of them, and I'm doing a shit ton of damage, Jay. And I'm completely out of his attack range. I should mention that my spider webs are also doing a great deal of damage. Now, I'm just curious because, like, legitimately your attacks are grapples. Yeah, it still does crazy damage, though. Yeah, but I'm saying how. Because I'm biting into his bark. And then doing... Uh, I guess. Seriously, let, let me get in a couple of hits on this one unassisted. You'll see how much damage... Okay, do it from the ground floor so I can actually see what's going on. Okay. Because that's my question, is I actually don't know what you're hitting or how, because most of your attacks are grab a thing and throw it. So just fight it. Oh, okay. You're actually not doing as much damage as I was. Aw, oh, lame. Yeah, it turns out me just, like, being on ground level and throwing things at him is doing a fair amount of damage. Yeah, all those little ticks, I think, are just... Yep, that is dominantly. Actually, me and Bomb Guy are putting the hits in. Yeah, it makes sense that Bomb Guy would deal a shit ton of damage. I mean, whenever the statement me and Bomb Guy are doing damage, you would expect it's the higher point damage. Golden chair. Ah. Uh oh. Oh, I can't grab those dudes. Yeah, they're they're pretty much mobile gordos, which sort of violates the principle, I feel. Oh man, how are the Gordos not some kind of horrifying elder god? Uh, I think because they're, I think they're just hard neutral. The Gordos are true neutral. Yeah, Gordo doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, the galaxy <laughs> moves around Gordo. Gordo <laughs> simply stays in place. No, I'm, I'm not saying that like they're evil like yeah. traditional elder gods are like in the Cthulhu mythos. What, I, what I'm saying is... Well, I thought like, the entire point was that they weren't even evil. It's just they are so unknowable and so alien that they, we can't apply morality. Right. In the Cthulhu mythos, though, there's one ultimate elder god, and I can't recall its name. And basically the whole thing, and this was blatantly ripped off by the Elder Scrolls, is that it has suffered horrible brain damage, and it lies in the center of the universe, and all it does is dream the reality that we, that we experience among us. And I feel like the Gordos are essentially that. We all exist around the Gordos. I was hoping you were actually going to go like one step further and say we all exist only because Gordos allow us to. <laughs> yes, the Gordos have a universal hive mind and they have decided that our antics are amusing and thus have permitted our continued life. You amuse us for you are <laughs> soft and unspiky and this, can, and this is novel to us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the Gordos permit us to exist. As Mere a curios. Merely so that they may laugh when one of us collides with them. <laughs> How could you fight an opponent that thinks like this? I suppose by rocketing them up into the stratosphere as I do. Yeah, but the Gordos don't care. Uh. Like, I think you and me have covered the full range of emotions a Gordo is capable of, from clinical indifference to spirit. Petty spitefulness to one of my uh, absolute favorites. Yeah, underwater makeup. Which session. was that they have absolutely no control of their motion and are constantly terrified. Yeah, that would that, be that squid was birthed to die. I killed you with your friend, and there's literally nothing you could do. About oh, ninjas! I suppose that's beach theme. Man has ninjas. Hey, didn't? Senran and Kagura have like a beach level with a ship and their ninjas in it. A lot of sh uh, a lot of their levels were beach themed because it was bikinis. 
Oh, oh, that's speak, the one I have. Actually, speaking of good. beach themes and bikinis, uh, so recently I downloaded a program oh, called Idol Master yeah, this for Steam, on. and basically the whole thing. Oh, you mean Berserk Season Four? Fuck off. Ba basically, the whole thing with Idol Master is I have 280 games on Steam, uh, most of which. Do you want to be a monkey now? Nah, I'm good with the. I'm good with Beetle Man. Uh, most Oops. of which I'm not gonna play. Uh, because, um, they came free in bundles. Yeah. Or they were gifted to me, or what have you. Or they were gifted to you for bundles. Or, or I played them... Oh, yes. Don't kill him. Yeah, my murder lust must go unsated for now. Uh, or I played them before Steam cards came along. Anyway, um... There you go, monkey. Basically, you know what basically Idol Master... Uh, uh, is a program that runs in the background on my computer that plays the games for me as I do nothing. And, um, it gives me all the Steam cards. So, uh, out of these games, I've made about $30 in Steam cards. Yep. Just, just by selling them on the Steam store, right? And, uh, I've come to realize two oh, things. Yeah, no matter how popular your game is, no matter how beloved, um... If your game features cute girls, the Steam cards will be worth far more than anyone else. I mean, that's true of any material good. If it features cute girls, extra money. Uh, I've also found that uh, if it features a cute girl in either a uniform or in fetish wear... Okay, so we gotta get the uh, red and blue to change places. I think we did this in the wrong order. Yeah. Uh, yep, go up. Okay. No! Stay up! No, because he's gonna come down. Right, and we need red to be on the uh, on the right, don't we? Yeah. So, well, what we need to do is let both of them go over that little <laughs> red. Alright, we'll see you next time, folks.